Ann Fox in her workroom. We just filmed the real workrooms tour. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you have a yardage calculation yes. problem in, in front of you. Yes. Okay, so maybe I can help. I hope so. Okay, very good. Okay, so that's, it, it's a, uh, looks like a 96 inch bench. It's a, it's a banquette. Banquette. Yeah. And then this side is actually it's 47. Okay, yeah. so 96, 47, mm -hmm. 47, and you've decided to split it up into four, five, six cushions. Right, the client wants individual cushions across the back rather than one. One, one, one. one bank one. Right. And in fact, with this with this fabric, that's probably best yeah, because you, can't you couldn't railroad, railroad the fabric. Right. And mm. something that long to railroad it actually causes problems too because as the fabric stretches out. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, ripples difficult. and yeah. yeah. Okay, so nice that it's individual cushions. Uh, so you've got four cushions that are 24 wide, 18, 18. deep. Yep, and, and then, then this is two, 18 by 29. Uh, two, two, yeah, yeah, 29. That was the most even way we could do it. Excellent. Okay, and this wonderful Lee Jofa bunny, bunny print. It's adorable. Huge repeat. Yep. And I know you well enough to know that you would not compromise on pattern matching. No, everything's got to be perfect. Perfect. So I do have one question for you. Yeah. So, the, so let's just change perspective and let's say this this is the banquette, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So we've got the four cushions along the back, mm -hmm. and and yes, as long as there's a, um, you know, we, we can certainly worry about direction, pan, pattern match the front, mm -hmm. but if you're going to continue the pattern this way, mm -hmm. okay, that becomes more of a challenge. Of course it does. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and sometimes that can't be done without a seam in the cushion. Right, which I don't want. Which you don't want. So no. that's us. We'll, we'll try to work so, it out without um, that. The other, I guess the other alternative is to have the same motif on each. Yes, that, and, and I can certainly run that by the, the clients. Run that by the client. Well, so, well let's easy, do the math it? and yeah. see if it's possible right. to do it. It's it's not likely to be possible without seams. So. The other question that mm -hmm. they they were actually saying was the so you've got the piece across the back and then the L mm -hmm. was whether to put the bunny in the, the right. that way. But they actually decided they wanted it the same way as the back. Okay, which I so, think is so basically it's actually. wrapping. Yeah. Bunny ears that way, bunny ears, ears this, this way, way, and bunny ears that That's way. It. Yeah. Okay. Right. I would recommend that anyway. I think I thought it would look weird if they did it the it, other way. It really would yeah. look weird, especially with the box, because mm -hmm. it's going to be on its side if you match it. Right. But, yeah. Oh well, well. The other thing is, and we have to have the bunnies that he wants. <laughs> to, to sort of. Yeah. Hang on. So the top one is. Kind of okay, and we had 18 deep that we wanted, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's there's the 19 inches. Okay, so we're going right. to frame it this way, like that. There, okay. Okay, so there like to... the... Okay, I'm, I'm not going to do the yeah. seam allowance. This is just... Right. Does that look about right? I, I think, yeah, so it's this, this he row... He really loves this. This row of bunnies. Okay, is, that row of bunnies. Because he felt that was too messy, right. that bit there. So, yeah, so it's this row of bunnies that we want. Okay, and, so. and what was the... Okay, so there was a repeat over here. If you made it continuous to here, and let's say your seam was right there, you could find that same spot over there and add the mm -hmm. seam allowance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's possible. they take a lot more fabric. Right. Let's start with just if we're choosing the same for, for and, each and one, go through that. Which would be way, yeah, because you get two from each one. So this is a straight repeat, meaning that there's this same bunny is here and it's here. It's right, like 27 right. horizontal. So that will be just enough with the same right. allowance. So we want to make sure that we're actually coming in a little bit. Yeah. Right, but what's the width? 24? 24 for the back cushions. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So, with the 24 then, um, the 24 fits within this yeah. repeat, which means we can get a top cut and a bottom cut. Right. Right? Okay, so, yeah. so that so makes that sense? that would be great. Yeah. yeah. And then with the, um, as far as the how much are we using so that? we'd have to do separate. Right. Yeah. And here's the thing. Yeah. Um, and you know this. <laughs> if we're going to pattern match like you would always do from... Here to here, yeah. To make it the cushion yeah. flow, mm -hmm. then we essentially will have our. We have to rate waste one repeat, 
right to get for a cushion yeah. for the top and bottom. Yeah. And then we need one repeat to match the boxing. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to think of this in terms of how many repeats do we need. Right. Rather than thinking of 32 inches or yeah. anything, right? Right. So the first calculation, and this is just like you would do with draperies, mm -hmm. you have to ask yourself, can you only, how, how many cuts can you get in, in how many cushion faces right. can you get in the one repeat? Yeah. So we need 18 inches plus seam allowance. Right. Do you do three I do quarters? Three quarters okay. Inch, so so we need 19 and a, and a half. Yeah. Right? And can we get two 19 and a half cuts in no, 32? It's 32. Yeah. No, so, so you can't. Yeah. So we're not going to even think about right. 19 and a half and 32 anymore. Right. We're only going to think repeat. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So how many repeats, and we're not going to worry about well yet. Yeah. Right? How many repeats will one cushion take? Right. A full repeat. Two. Oh, because it, yeah. Right? Mm. We need one to cut the top and bottom, and right. then we need another one to find the right placement that has the overlap for the box. Yeah. Yes, because it's not just about, we can't just get the box out of the Anywhere. remaining. No, because your seams have been chopped off. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. We need to get this exact spot plus seam allowance in this direction down here, yeah. down in the next repeat. Right. So mm -hmm. that's the big Loss. That's the big loss. Right. Right? Yeah. You're going to be able to make a ton of bunny pillows. He's actually, had, <laughs> I, I did tell him that there'd be uh, probably a lot of leftovers. Yeah. He actually, he's going to want to throw pillows from all around the back. There you go. So, and um, hopefully he won't mind where the pattern is on Right. Those. I think, you, so it, it, I think that would be good because, right? There's going to be a lot of waste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if it was me. Yeah. If it was me, I would calculate yardage based on that. Right. You've got your two. Yeah. Um. But you also have to ask yourself, do you really want the same on each? Right. You know, I, I, I think I think that's the easiest way to do it because right. um, sometimes clients don't keep cushions <coughs> in the right spot. Right. And so if, they get if they're the same, it doesn't be, matter. Right. That's a good setting point. Actually. And this yeah. is uh, enough of an all over. It's going to just look like bunnies. Yeah. Right. It's it, 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 It'd be okay if... It, it's enough randomness the right. way the design is. Okay, so so we need two repeats per cushion. Yeah. For the back cushions. Right. Okay. Uh, and none, this is not including that. We don't need more than that because the scraps. You know, we need the pattern match for the box, front right. box, but and the side and the back yeah, you can use whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, now for the, the side, side cushions, for which are. Twenty-nine. So we can't do get two. Right. Yeah. Okay. So so far, let's let's run the checklist. I'm just going to write out four at eighteen deep by twenty-four wide. We all have different symbols for it, That's, right? Yeah. And uh, and two at eighteen deep by twenty-nine wide. Okay. Okay. And. You've already got your 32 inch vertical repeat and your 27 inch horizontal repeat. We don't really need the horizontal repeat anymore other than right. we know how many yeah. we can get. Okay, so let's, um, with these cushions, how many repeats is it going to take? So if we just figure how many repeats. Okay, so we need two. Two. We one need two. One for the box and one for the. Right. Main the cushion. top and the yeah. bottom and then right. another repeat for the box. Yeah. But these cushions. You're going to need. Um, four, no more. So one, two, three, four, six. Okay, so uh, each. So if we think each, we need the top. Oh. One repeat. The, the bottom, bottom and the thing. One, so three. Three. Three, three for one cushion. It. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. The six top, for the, two the other, bottom, yeah. and the boxing. Right. We should be able to get the boxing. Yeah. Out of just one more. We don't right. need it's additional. So that's three repeats okay. per. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> overall, four times two, mm -hmm. so we need eight three. repeats for yeah. the back cushions, and two times three, six, six for the two side cushions. That's 14 repeats. 14 That's repeats. Fabric. <laughs> Plus, you always add one repeat to yeah. start, yeah. because we, if we're going to get these bunnies... Yeah, they might, it, it might be cut in the right, right place. Yeah, you've always got to right. allow that extra because if, if your first repeat's cut down the middle, you've lost one. Then you, yeah, you yeah. you can't use that one, yeah. Yeah. right? And and you very well might be able to use it mm. for something that you might be yeah. able to get your boxing strip from it, right. but you 
you just don't know, so you always add one repeat. Yeah. And then we also need to add for the welds. Right. Okay, now um, I noticed that you I've got them. you calculate your circumference yeah. and, and all that and all that. Yeah. And so if we're talking cushions that are taking right. half the width of the fabric, right. yeah. three strips, okay. right? Yeah, I never even thought of that. I just okay. work it all out because right. I yeah, that's that. a that I, which which is great, right? Yeah. If you do it, but I, I like to do as uh, yeah. little math as possible. Right. Yeah. Um, and since your thing strips, so visually three strips is usually overkill for a single cushion. Yeah. And uh, and so if we've got a total of six cushions mm -hmm. times three strips. Mm -hmm. 18. 18 strips. Right. Mm -hmm. I would probably take the 18 times right. 3 add a yard and a half. So right. what's 18 times 3? Mm, I don't know. 18 times 3 is 54. 54 inches. Um, so, so, so far we've got 3 yards plus 15 repeats. Right. So let's go back to those 15 repeats. So it's 15, 15 repeats times 32. Yeah. It's 480. 480 divided yeah, by 36, 36 to get to yards. 13 and a third. 13 and a third, which in my workroom, that's 14. 14. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. So 14 plus 3, 17 yards. For cushions. Yep. So now if you don't want the same design on each cushion, and mm -hmm. instead you want you want this these bunnies and then... Uh, a flow to the next so that it pattern matches mm -hmm. up this seam as right. well as to the boxing. Yeah. Okay. Then let's let's go through how how you would cut differently. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's start with the two side cushions. Okay, the 29 inch. Would mm -hmm. we need to do anything different with those? No, that would be they'd be fine because they don't have they're to match single anything. cushions. They're individual. Right, they're individual. They're not so, match anything. so that six repeats needed stays the same. Yeah. Right. So we're really dealing with the four along the back. Mm -hmm. And conceptually, the only change is we can't get the top and the bottom and the bottom to the same cut. Or can we? Huh. I think you might the have bottom the one doesn't have to match. Right. Hmm. Well, they could, the bottom ones could be opposite to whatever the top ones are. Right. It just, but we can actually take make use of this. Like, mm -hmm. So, so here's the here's the top of the one cushion. Right. Right. Since the bottom, it doesn't matter what we take. We can still cut it from here. Yeah. Right. But then to get the next top, mm -hmm. okay, which has to pattern match with whatever was right here. Yeah. Right? I don't know where that's going to be. Wherever that's going to be, be, but it's either going to be here or it's going to be there. Right, so the other piece can be the bottom. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the only problem could be, and I, I've had this happen, because there isn't anything that's right in the center. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The only problem could be if you get to the point where they're starting to shift and shift and shift, and what you Both need mm -hmm. is off the edge. Mm -hmm. But could that ever happen? Well, it depends on the size of the pattern repeat and the size of the cushion. Well, but we, have, yeah. we know it's a 27-inch mm. repeat, yeah. so I'm saying on this fabric. On this particular fabric, yeah. Right. Okay, so I'll tell you what mm. I would do in my workroom. <laughs> yeah. Um, because you're quoting this before you have, I mean, if you already have the fabric, you could mark your cuts right. and make sure it's there. Yeah, all I've got is this little bit. Right. Yeah. But if, if I was quoting the job, yeah. I would just automatically just add four repeats. Mm -hmm. If they were going to do that, just to make sure. Yeah. Right. And. Uh, right. But it, it so might be twenty one right. yards. It yeah. might not be necessary because mm. when you go down, you can usually use the other piece for the bottom. Right. But let's say worst case, you went down and it already shifted to the point where moving the top to here left you with nothing for the bottom of the cushion. Right. Then You've you got, got those four repeat. extra repeats. Yeah. 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 So does that make sense? So so if we add four more repeats in, what's four times thirty-two? Uh, I can't remember. There we go. Fifty-four. <laughs> four times, times thirty-two, 32 equals one hundred twenty-eight. Divided by thirty-six. Right. Divided by thirty-six equals three point five five. Three point five five. So we add the thirteen and the third plus the three point five five. Plus thirteen point three. Right. Plus 16, yeah. Plus three? Three and a half. Or three, no, three. Oh, three, it was just three. Okay, plus three equals 
You're it's talking 19.88. Yeah. yeah, so 20 yards. Right. So it's the difference um, between 17 and 20 yards. Right. That wasn't too hard yeah. to figure, right. what, you know, what, what yeah. additionally. And but I think what? it's just the mind shift of thinking you're, you're counting repeats. Right. And you always right. add the extra. Yeah. And when you're trying to make something flow in this direction as well as this direction, you've got to consider that you might not be able to get what you want out of the right. out of the scrap of that piece. Yeah.